guys. What's up, fam? It's the Baldwins. It's the Baldwins. And once again, we're back with another video. Mm -hmm. Please remember, if this is your first time, like, comment. Most importantly, subscribe yes. to this channel to keep up with our journey. Mm -hmm. So today, we're actually going to be presenting something new to you guys. And <laughs> we're going to be doing this thing called walking work. <laughs> walking work. <laughs> And it's that's be, so corny that's so funny <laughs> but yeah, it is very corny but we're gonna roll with it we're gonna roll with it so every time we do video we're gonna walk and work <laughs> and it's basically a series having bringing out scripture and we're gonna show you guys how to practically walk out the mm -hmm. word of god the bible tells us in uh ephesians 4 26 no 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 no, 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 no. no, no, no. Sorry, james, james 1 and 22 sorry guys says, sorry be sorry doers of the word and not just hear of the word deceiving yourself. Mm -hmm. So it's basically saying that we not only supposed to listen to the word or study the word or something, but we have to apply that to our lives and walk it out. So that's mm -hmm. the foundation of practically walking out scripture, which is walking word. So to start it off, I'm gonna let this lovely queen of mine come with the scripture that we're gonna be coming from with the topic that we're gonna be talking about today. Okay, guys, so the scripture is Ephesians 4, 26 and 27. It says, Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath, nor give place to the devil. Yes, so we're going to be highlighting how to practically walk out not letting the sun go, go down, down on your, your wrath. wrath. And how we do it, and how we can help you guys to also apply this to your mm -hmm. life. Guys, remember that the word of God is literally instruction on how to live out day to day in yes. every situation, in every circumstance. Yes. So a way to practically do this is be confrontational. I know that's really, really hard for some people and definitely really, really hard for me, but it's super vital and super important, obviously in a mature manner. Uh, yeah. to in love. In love, definitely. Mm -hmm. Let's highlight that. In love, okay? <laughs> to, to always be confrontational and um, express how you feel in the yes. moment. One thing that I always tell her is that just because I'm telling you how I feel, it doesn't mean that we're against one another. I'm not against you. You're not against me. And me being confrontational is simply me confronting how I feel with you and it's like it's very important to know that in relationships particularly you're not against each other y'all went and got in a relationship to be against each other it's just like no sometimes we disagree sometimes I feel some type of way sometimes you feel some type of way and it's okay to confront those emotions and feelings a yeah. lot of people think that if I if, if she's expressing her emotions to me I feel like she's attacking me or she's coming against my character or she's coming against my, my manner of doing things when no that's not the reality she's just vocalizing how she feel and vice versa so i wanted to highlight that because it's very important to know that you guys are never against each other confrontation doesn't have to be negative so yeah never allow your anger to marinate yes. over a long period of time because the reality is when we do allow that to happen our minds go everywhere. Our minds start adding a bunch of different things to one little thing and it becomes a really big thing. Yes. Like a snowball, you know, it starts off small and then it rolls down the hill and it gets way, way, way bigger. So, knows, yeah. right, right. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> it's so, so vital to be confrontational. Confront your feelings, confront the anger, confront the discomfort, confront whatever negative emotion is going on in the moment. Yes. And what we do, or what we have done and learned over time, is to confront in, in the instant. In the moment. So yes. whenever we have a disagreement, or whenever we just don't agree, or we feel some type of way yeah, or, or something hurts our feelings, me, being the one that hates confrontation, has learned to suck it up, to process, and to speak. We basically have the conversation in the moment, yeah. but for those that don't know how to do that or are still working on how to be confrontational or have mature conversations in order to not harbor anger, um, we came up with this thing called five minute rule. Yes. So five minute rule. what you do is whenever you're having a heated discussion or something hurt your feelings or whatever, you leave the situation and say, hey, I'm going to come back. I'm going to think about how I feel and then we'll come back and talk about it and set a five minute um, kind of like a deadline a timer. like Set a time a timer, like yeah five for five minutes, minutes think about it process mm -hmm. talk to the lord most importantly yes 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 get yourself right with it mm -hmm. so when you come back into the conversation you're not attacking one another yeah. and you're not feeling offensive or anything like that because you already had time to okay. settle down yeah and we said five minutes, but if you feel like you can't really do the five minutes ten. you can do 10 15 and over time make sure that you're like, getting better yeah getting, getting better. better yeah less taking less time yeah. to really allow all those things to 
Good one. That's literally practicality to not letting the sun go down on your wrath. And it's like the scripture literally says after that, because it gives room to the devil. It gives room to the enemy to cause things to cause more friction. Like she said, like that snowball effect. And it's like, you don't realize it, but you're not dealing with your emotions in the, mo in the moment or dealing with how you feel in the moment. It allows a seed to be planted in your heart, which causes uh, misunderstanding mm -hmm. or it causes lack of communication. It causes bitterness. It causes mm -hmm. strife. It causes you to think, oh, you just don't understand or... You or know, she doesn't or understand. Or she doesn't understand. Or, you know, um, he, he, I don't want to talk to him right now. I don't want to do this. But it's like, it's so beautiful to deal with it in a moment. It's, mm -hmm. it's literally beautiful. It's what wonders in our relationship it'll allow, and marriage. It'll allow definitely the intimacy to get stronger between sure. a couple. Because you'll be able to vocalize your weaknesses in the moment. And really process together instead of apart. Because in all honesty, especially girls... I don't know about guys, whenever you have time to think about it, you think of the 10 billion other times he's done something wrong, and that adds on yeah. to what you're feeling in the moment. So, and this is for friendships too, not just relationships. Friendships, you, your parent, mm -hmm. you, your pastor, whatever. It's, it, it applies to across everything. the board. But just more so like practically because we're married, we have to lay down in the bed together. Mm -hmm. So it's like oftentimes if we're mad, one want to sleep on this side, one want to sleep on the other side, or, you know, though usually this is the case most of the time where the husband has to sleep on the couch or whatever and it's like now the sun is going down on your anger and you're not allowing that situation to be rectified which causes seeds to be planted mm -hmm. and it leads to it harboring and you never talking about it then when something else happens blow up mm -hmm. so we just wanted to tell you guys that and the last thing i want to highlight is that the importance of knowing that it's okay to be angry with one another but to not that allow to not allow that to cause you to stumble. Like the scripture says, be angry and do not sin. It's okay to be upset. It's okay to like have misunderstandings. It's, all, it's okay for all of that. Mm -hmm. But the importance is not allowing that to be a hindrance to you guys' relationship, to be a hindrance in the way that you treat one another, or, you know, the way that you guys communicate. Or a hindrance to your own mind. So um, we just wanted to say that, and that's how you could practically walk out not letting the sun go down in your life. It doesn't literally, you know, the, it's an analogy, meaning, like, don't allow something to, you stay know, there. stay there. Like, no, <clears throat> deal with it in the moment. Settle it and, you know, move on. So, pray that this guy's, uh, la, 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 la. pray that this blessed you guys and encouraged you guys. Remember that we love you guys so, so much. And, again, remember to like, share, subscribe, and most importantly, just share. Share with other people that need to learn how to walk right. out the Bible. So, yes. yeah, we love you guys. Peace. Bye.